This is Max Goldberg from livingmaxwell.com. I want to talk to you about today something that's been in the news a lot lately about this USDA having its own new non-GMO seal. Well, this is absolutely not the case. I've had multiple conversations with the USDA and I want to explain to you what it is. First off, there's a common seal in the marketplace. It's a third party organization called the Non-GMO Project. So a lot of organic products use this Non-GMO Project seal. But a company in Minnesota called Sunopta that didn't want to use this seal for whatever reason. They went to the government, they said, we want to use this new Non-GMO seal. The FDA said fine, and Sunopta gave them the standards which will, uh, which will represent this Non-GMO seal. Sunopta then went to the USDA, which has a little known program called Process Verified. So the USDA verified that Sunopta is actually adhering to these standards that they said they would, and that, these non, that this non-GMO seal that they proposed is actually true. So all the USDA is verify what Sunopta has proposed. So this new seal is not the USDA's, it's, what, it's Sunopta's, what they have petitioned to the government. This proposes two significant potential problems. Number one, there is rumor, there is a rumor in the marketplace that there are many other companies proposing their own non-GMO seal. Now Sunopta seal is not for consumers, it's for commercial purposes, but we potentially could have multiple non-GMO seals in the marketplace for consumers that mean many different things, they, meaning they have different levels of GMO contamination which is allowed. Right now with the non-GMO project it's 0.9% which is allowed. So many different seals in the marketplace is one potential problem. The other potential problem is meat and dairy companies could petition for their own non-GMO seal which and they could say what it means is that the animals have not been genetically modified but that doesn't mean that the feed that the animals have been eating hasn't been genetically modified and that's the key thing that I brought up in the Chipotle video a week or so ago is that animal and uh, meat and dairy products what is critical is to know if the feed that these animals are eating is genetically modified. So you could potentially see a, a milk product on the market with a label that says non-GMO, yet the, yet the animals that have been producing those that milk could have been fed genetically modified feed. And that is a real potential problem. What I want to leave you with is this, always buy organic. GMOs are prohibited in organic and it is superior, GMO, uh, organic is superior to non-GMO because it doesn't have GMOs in it, and all these synthetic pesticides are not allowed in it as well. So I hope this clarifies the situation for you. This is Max Goldberg from Living Maxwell. Just remember to buy well, eat well, and most importantly, live well. Thanks for watching.